so in this video will I continue our previous project so in the previous project you found that there's a mistake of the CMD so what you have to do is now declare the CMD as a string as in global in global kind of you know very you know declaring variables like this in the module one after the module one and before the main sub main class so then you will find that the CMD error goes away and in this video uh, I'm not just here to you know give you a solution to the previous error because I'm a mad person besides me. Okay, <laughs> so uh, in this video, we'll be giving it a function to start a program out of a file location. Currently, it will be static, but later on, on the progression, we will be making it dynamic. That means the user will be able to provide the location where the program will search for the pro, you know, the application which the user prompts to run. So, what we did is that we took the CMD or actually the command which was given by you know the user and uh, we you know <coughs> checked if it contains the term start in small letters of course and we checked that if it contains uh, the term start and which means it is true then you're gonna be writing some code so that it will you know try to execute the data so just copy this thing down and change the CMD Okay, so actually, what is saying that I, I, I just give it a try and catch error because, for instance, uh, your file is not found in the location. So in that case, the program will just crash in the moment, and we do not need that to happen. So we made an exception, ex, and it will say could not found the file in the C or Windows slash system thirty two folder or a static folder currently. We'll make it dynamic for sure. So in this in this part. We just declare another variable PR start, which means a replacement of the command from which we want to extract the application names. For instance, uh, we want to be giving the uh, you know, command as start app.dxe. Okay, this is the command actually, and we want this amount of information out of the command. So what the program needs to do is to get the get rid of this kind of part. Start and then have uh, a space. So we want to be getting that out or replacing that with nothing. So we basically replaced this thing means the CMD out of which uh, we took the this part means start and space and replaced it with nothing. So we found that PR start is simply the you know the application application name with the extension, and we gave it a, a file look variable which means the location of the file. As I said, it's a static it's a static one static uh, location, but it will be user dynamic later on. And now. We did a shell start and file low, but that's not gonna work for you because that simply won't work. Mm. Rather, you wanna be giving like system the diagnostics dot precise dot start. You wanna be giving file low. Cool, huh? Now we're gonna be debug one to debug this program and we wanna write cmd.exe or start cmd.exe. You'll see that you just started up the cmd uh, you know, software out of the folder which is currently up here. Let me show you c slash windows slash system32 where the system32 is. There you go. Whichever program you want to get up here, just have to write this thing into the command prompt. For instance, I want to open the DLL file, this kind of DLL file. RDP, DCL, whatever it is. Start RDP, DT, RDP, DT, G, DLL. Come on. There you go. This opens up whatever you like to give it. That's all for this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye and good night. See you later.